Well, Mike moves us now from the, now the we relays. Go from the relays to the D group. The distance group. That's it. There we go. <laughs> it's going to be event number seven. It'll be the women's 1,000-yard freestyle. Top uh, body view screen and later lane two. Taylor Roy for the Gators. Liz Nelson for the Aggies will be lined up in lane three. Alicia Matthew will be in lane four for the Gators. And Maureen McLean for the Aggies will be in five. Jessica Thalman in six for the Gators. And Lauren Nadai is a no-show. And I don't think, yep. So it's three on two. Lauren Knighty, excuse me. Knighty. I've said it wrong for enough. Now I need to get it right. <laughs> And Mike, the O'Connell Center here for those that are watching, it's got a whole bunch of stuff going on. Not only there's a swim meet going on here today, but this Sunday, Gator Volleyball will take on Tennessee on Sunday at 2 p.m. The O'Connell Center. The first 250 fans will receive third set of Florida volleyball trading cards. Kids 12 and under can form a pre-match tunnel to the court, participate in the post-match spike line, and post-match autograph session. That's going to be this Sunday at 2 o'clock. I can tell you, Dave, the other day I got to go see a high school regional volleyball tournament or a regional volleyball game. Amazing. Two local Central Florida high schools going off for regions. Mm -hmm. And then get home that night, and I was looking for, you know, something on the TV. ESPNU had on college volleyball. Uh -huh. Amazing. I'm telling you, it was it, uh, not, not only that quantum leap you go from high school to college is where you have the best of the best playing, but just tremendous athletes. Yes. I mean, amazing to watch. So definitely encourage people who can get out and see the volleyball this weekend. And I know you've got a bunch of stuff going on here next door uh, to the O'Connell Center. You've got the Gators taking on, I believe, Missouri. They are home this weekend. I forget who they're playing. They're home the next two weekends, yep. actually. I bet that's in your handy guide hey, there. You know what? You're talking exactly right. Florida football with Will Muschamp. Watch Florida football with Mr. Will Muschamp presented by Hyundai. Catch up with the latest news of the Gator football team. The next show airs Sunday, November 4th at noon on Sun Sports. And actually, it's going to be the Gators taking on Missouri. I did see a student walk by with a Beat Missouri t-shirt on before, so that makes sense. That, that's, that's right. I didn't know if it was a throwback t-shirt. <laughs> That's right. In fact, it's funny because Texas A&M is new to the SEC, and so is Missouri. Yeah, in football, they have not gotten a well, warm welcome, I hate to tell them. They both have gotten uh, had a rough time of it this year. And, Mike, before we update everybody what's going on here in the 1,000, two weeks in a row the Gator Swimmer has earned a weekly honor for the Southeastern Conference. The week of October 22nd, junior Elizabeth Bizell was named the SEC Female Swimmer of the Week for her performance at SMU Classic. And Bizell swam her way to four top three finishes and earned NCAA B standard times in five events. The 400 IM, the 500 free, 100 back, 200 IM, and part of the 800 free relay. Holy cow. Yeah, that's, that's a... She put on a put show Put that on there. my resume. She might also have... Swept down the facility and packed the bus, too. So let's see where we are here. They're putting up the handy-dandy sign saying they just finished up lap 13, coming up on lap 15. And right now it looks like the Aggies are going to go out to an lead. They're going to say it's going to be Maureen McLean. 323.67. So we finished up lap 14. So 1,000 means we're doing, what, 40 of these? So they're not to the halfway point yet. Is that right? Did I, I do my math right? I believe so. I don't, we don't see many 1,000 short course yards. Events, we usually, most of the meets we do have a 500 and then a 1650. Mm -hmm. So i got to always remember my numbers, and that makes sense because 500 is 20, and this is twice as much. Look you're, at that, Matt. <laughs> you didn't have to go to Florida to figure that one out. Wow, and the shoes stayed on, too. Yep, that's true. <laughs> I remember how many fingers are down there in my shoes. If I need my shoes, there's 10. 
That keeps you from being embarrassed. Maureen McLean continues on, 422-48. She's our leader right now. Alicia Matthew right behind her with a 425-19. And Thalman, Jessica Thalman, will take third right now with a 425-77. Skaters are sitting right there. Just, okay, I know where you are. We still got some distance here. You know, and it's very interesting, too, because you talk about there's, you know, there, I think there's a traditional way to swim this. I think this is, is your halfway point, isn't it? Uh, well, they're showing 21. Yeah, that'll be halfway point. Halfway touch right there yep. at 452.01. Yeah, 21 when they get back to that wall. Yeah. McLean is going to be your leader. The odds down there. McLean, 452.06. Matthew was sitting second with a 455.06. So you got the, I think one of the traditional ways you'll see people build into the first couple hundred and then get a, get to a pace in that third hundred that they'll hold out for the remainder and then just dump all their left, whatever they have left in the gas tank in that final hundred. And then there's the other people who will uh, try and get comfortable quick and then back half of them. Yep. There's a beat, beat uh, uh, it's a beat Georgia shirt. He's got one from last week, I yep. guess. Actually, a couple of weeks ago, because I know last week they took on uh, South Carolina. Yeah, and he's got on a beat Vanderbilt. This is like the whole beat old beat. old school shirts here. <laughs> the beat Missouri one was orange, so and I actually, saw him walk by. If you're looking down, we've got a nice little uh, crowd here joining in, welcoming. I'd say one of the better crowds I remember seeing at any of our meets here. Texas so. A&M Aggies to the SEC. And right now they're watching Maureen McLean. I know they Lead had a good it. line of rowdy reptiles coming in, getting the uh, complimentary the backpack and some gator schedules and posters. And right now there's a tough battle between Matthew and Thalman, Jessica Thalman over in lead six. And you see Coach Troy telling the young ladies, okay, we need to pick it up just a little bit. And Thalman's responding is now she'll move into that second position, 624-27. Seconds too early to call. They are an yep. arm's length separation and uh, going to keep it energizing for us. And McLean, Mike just continues on. 649.28 as we finish up lap 28. And Mike, she's going to enjoy what looks to be about a three body length lead over the rest of the field. Yeah, her next wall will be the three quarter mark. 7.50, she'll be touching here. And here comes Salman now is picking up the pace just a little bit. She's got the go sign. That's exactly it. Time to put it in a different gear. You've got 10 laps to go. Also known as the heartbreaker when you let someone lead that long and then come back there, come from behind and crush them. Yep. 7.18.45 is McLean time here with 10 laps to go. 7.24.53 is Alicia Matthew. There's a crowd behind us at the Ryan Lochte banner as yep. they uh, are a poster. And the Gator Championship wall behind us here at the O'Connell Center. Currently there right now, it looks like that uh, McLean is continuing to hold off the challenger there in Thalman. Thalman needs to worry about Matthew coming after her. Thalman now is going to enjoy a full body length lead. As she pushes off the wall here at lap 33. The scary thing for me, Dave, is I look around and none of these college students look any older than my high school students, so I'm completely exactly freaked right. out. We're supposed to just let them leave the house and come live on their own? <laughs> they can't handle that. <laughs> With six laps left to go, actually down now, Mike, to five. McLean now has taken this to about a four, almost a five-body length lead. Yeah, she's got over 10 yards now. So. And she's going to take it to about a 15-yard lead. Starting to see some political T-shirts as we're getting ready to vote You're next exactly, week. You're exactly right. I'm not going to tell you what any of those say. No. Nope. Because we haven't been given any political ad dollars. Nope. nope. Like the rest of Florida <laughs> has, apparently. <laughs> We'd like to welcome all of our viewers. From both St political parties. In College Station and Texas A&M. So welcome very much. Thank you very much for tuning in. Right now you're seeing 
Maureen McLean. Last lap, down and back, 9-14-99 split time. She's going to enjoy right now a probably a five, almost a six body length lead. Dave, have you been to College Station? I have not. We need to make our way out there. That's a great name for a college town. And right now, McLean's going to go underneath the flags, and she will take first for the 9.42.54. And touching second is going to be Thalman with a time of 9.51.03 to take second. Matthew, Alicia Matthew, will touch third for the Gators with a 9.53.32. So the Gators will take second and third, but the Aggies will hold that first position. The men are going to give us a full pool, Dave. All eight of them lined up there. Four Gators and four Aggies. And here comes coming in is going to be Taylor Roy. She's going to touch in for the Gators with a 10-15-49. And, Mike, who do we have in the pool real quick? I'll tell you right now, we just had a <laughs> Aggie drummer down here break a drumstick, drum, drumstick flies into lane one.